baptism was in my mother's womb. I had not yet emerged into the world, and yet I knew that I no longer wanted to breathe in water. I wanted to breathe in air, breathe in words that would come out of my mouth and make a difference in this world. My mother baptized the earth when her water broke. And at this moment, she created new life. She brought me into this world, but also the life that was beneath her feet. She contributed to a larger cycle that made no sense to me. Even as a child, the water cycle never made sense because I could not quite figure out how the water went from the earth to the sky and back to the earth again. For me, it didn't make sense. Until one day, I walked out to the sea, and I put my feet in the sand, and I watched my footprints disappear. I was always fascinated with how my footprints never remained, and yet I was still there. I wanted to make a difference in this world for my feet to leave an imprint, so I continued to swim out into the ocean one day until I couldn't breathe anymore. All I could breathe in was water, and the salt and the sand came back out of my mouth, and I realized in that moment that the mystery was not mine to take. I was not supposed to figure out what happened at the end of the sea. All I could do was just sit and breathe, slowly. Regain my composure. It was at this age I left the church because I could no longer figure out where I fit in in this world. The ocean was no longer in my horizon, and all I could see was a river. A river that seemed to go into mountains that I could not grasp. When I came back to the church, I was on a mission to figure out exactly where I fit into a larger ocean, a scheme that did not make much sense to me. But I dove in head first. I have faith that I would find the right path. Right is always going to be subjective, and I never knew exactly what it meant for me to be baptized in Christ. Until June 3rd, 2012, I was baptized in East Lake United Methodist Church. The Eastern Lake was always important to me because I realized that at that moment, I was being baptized in a lake, and a little child walked up to me and he told me, remember that God loves you. This is what your baptism means. For me, my baptism was a chance to give up control, to give it up to a higher power, something greater than me that figured out the ends of the seas and the earth, but also to take control of my own life, to make a choice that baptism was something I needed in my life. I went to a children's summer camp, and there I was teaching my kids just add water, the importance of putting water back into the earth, back into our souls. I realized a few months ago after my baptism, after these children created new life in me, that made mostly of water, we are baptized in ourselves. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah McCune. I'm going to drink a little bit of water for a second. <laughs> and the poem I just read to you was one that I presented at Poetry Nationals this past year. For me, Poetry Nationals was a chance for me to embrace and to embody what it means to be a poet. Poetry for me is my calling in life. Though abstract at times, for me it is the chance to grapple with something I've always dealt with in my life. There's a saying that you must practice what you preach. I often find myself debating how much I should practice what I preach and how much I should preach what I practice. This for me has always been difficult because as a wordsmith, I've always been expected to have eloquent words. I think what makes this opportunity particularly important is that I am claiming my poet voice, not only for myself, but for my faith in God. Poetry has always been linked to God, and in my mind, there's something magical about the experience of sitting down and writing. But the poem I just presented to you was something that comes from my heart, something I haven't written down. I've had formal training as a poet, but I've also had the street training of a poet, where I just go out and hear other people's stories. This is for me what poetry is about. Water is something that is found everywhere, in the profane, the mundane, the sacred. Poetry is a chance to bring water, to bring church, to bring our voices back into a community. 